All right, everybody. My first video on YouTube. Can't even see me. There we go. Using a regular cell phone. Never done this before. I uh, was watching a YouTube channel about chainsaws and I stumbled upon uh, Billy. Fucking Billy. And uh, he just, uh, he's so much knowledge I can't even... I can't even uh, put to words the stuff I've learned from his channel. So if you've never heard of fucking Billy, go on YouTube, check out his channel. I, um, what inspired me to make this video right now, at this very moment, literally five minutes ago, is I was going to post on his channel. Um, but I was so excited, I figured I'm going to make a video. The feeling you get, you get a chainsaw, it could be anything, whatever your hobby may be, but for me it's, it's engines. Uh, this specific, uh, particular moment is chainsaws, usually chainsaws. Um, you got an old chainsaw, specifically this one right here. Picked it up today. Out of garbage. Let me show you the cover. Hold on. It's a home light, folks. It's uh, I believe this is a 70s C52. Got it from a Spanish gentleman, thrown away. Pull starter. The pull starter in here wouldn't work. It's that old style. I've never seen actually this style before. It uh, it's friction. It doesn't have, it has the dogs, but it, it just goes against a smooth surface. I'm going to have it apart again after I show you because i got to put some Loctite on it for what I did. But anyway, the excitement of the saw. Fix the starter on it, which is an issue with these saws. The gas in it was probably from the 60s <laughs> or 70s, literally. I got rid of the gas, pulled a filter out of it. Hasn't been attached in forever with the fuel line that's sitting in there, garbage. Put some gas in this. Learned from Bron fucking Billy. Thank you. And I did this. Let me show you. Hard for you to see right here, huh? We'll get you. A little bit of gas, you know. Make sure the switch is on, because it wasn't the first time. Then I put the switch on. <laughs> and it's got good compression. I love it. I absolutely love it. That feeling, look, oh, ah, clutch still spinning. Ah, look at this. Look at the dog. I believe this is a high 70 cc. I have to look into it some more. But for the cost of a drive, half hour drive, half hour round trip, hour round trip, beautiful saw, nice bar, good chain. I can't wait to put her in wood. Can't wait. I have one more to show you. Hold on. Craftsman, the old Sears. Now this one, it'll start up. Got to take the carburetor apart for sure. It's got some carb issues. But this is another, this is a $10 saw right here. And she runs with great compression. I mean, it starts up, it doesn't run. The home light, obviously, I think I'm going to put fuel in, you know, I'm, I'm going to put fuel in the tank right now. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put fuel in this tank. There's a fuel line in there, there's no there's no filter. It's I'm kind of hesitant to do that right now without a filter. Um, you know, I might be asking for a world of troubles if I suck some stuff in there because I've only cleaned this tank quickly. But you know what? My first video, probably gonna be called an idiot for doing it. I'm gonna put some gas in there. And I'm gonna see if she'll actually run run. See if she'll pick some fuel up. I actually have a good feeling about this. 
really good feeling. And this saw is real easy to work on. I can't wait to put a bar on this. Put the bar on this and try her in some wood. I'll show you my everyday saw in a minute. I can't believe this saw. I, I, I really don't know. I don't even know if it has a primer. That's the, that's the oil. No, no primer. All right, well, let's, that was no choke either, folks. Let's see if it'll pull some fuel. See how much of the stuff I'm gonna suck up. Uh, I'm probably gonna kick myself in the ass for doing this. I think the fuel line's gonna have to come off and who knows if I have to get into the carburetor. She should have run a little bit longer though on that fuel, I would have thought. It's exciting though. The, the, point, the whole point of this is the excitement. You know, I don't want to make it worse by sucking stuff in there. I shouldn't even have done that, really. But it's the excitement. Oh, I'll get my everyday saw. I'm sorry, you know, my everyday saw is a 78. That craftsman, I'm not sure of the year. Get the 36 inch bar. This is my CS680, folks. Echo, CS680. I love this saw. It cost me $50 for this saw. Without the bar. I put the bar on it. This saw is a great saw. I can't tell you how happy I am. And with the 36 inch bar and a sharp chain, it goes through the wood nice. It does. It really does. 24 inch bar, all day long. No problem. The 36, it has no problem either. And it's nice on your back. A good, good bar, nice on the back. Don't have to bend over. Let's see, I'll start this one up quick. She should start right up, obviously. I have a bad habit of having to switch off. <laughs> Every day so <laughs> Anyway, that's going to be it for my first video. Who knows what's going to happen? But thank you, Bron uh, Buck and Billy for inspiring me and a couple of the people come to my mind. The excitement, I'm excited. I'll talk to you after.